Kenyo. Okay. <clears throat> Perhaps the world will end tomorrow. God may come down in the fulfillment of time and men and earth will witness. But what promise does that future make that idle arms take comfort in neglecting fields and harvest? How can a belief that there is little to be done make us want to swim closer to the shore? Like a wave racing with runner's cleats only to break five miles before the finish line. Why do we tremble at finishing great promises? Men, when confronted with all they've ever desired, often crumble like strong identities that become dust upon our memories. Those once solid things, nameless and dismembered, beyond the days of coherence. But our resolve can be lucid. Perhaps the world will end tomorrow. God may come down in the fulfillment of time and men and earth will witness how God finishes. Eyes, hearts, and tongues will glaze with golden glow beneath a very present completion like fat dripping from spring meats, like rest beneath the summer's tree. Perhaps the world will end tomorrow. God may come to me and come to you and men and men will witness. And then who will we be? I'll walk today across the finish line like eyes shut beneath the summer's tree. I'll calmly set the sun, tuck it beneath peaceful contemplation. Perhaps the world will end and all we've worked for and our rest, our peace, our deep sighs. The air we spun with God dreams and humility will be what remains of soul's intention. I'm trying to fix the world, the roads and the skies. How else can I expect to dream of the future? Those coming next should have to fight less for art. The next generation should come about love easier. I'm trying to realize my dreams, not the small ones, but the really big success of seeing heaven and making a heaven-sized difference here on earth. I'm trying to be a generation's angel. I've lost everything I had except my eyes are still empty with hope. My hands are sleepy. My feet grow into stone. There is no easy road ahead. I'm trying to color over tragedy to keep everyone from seeing the cracks because beauty is so strong and every dark corner has a back door hidden in the arms of a kind soul. I don't know how to get people to believe that we have more than cars and factories. We have more than money in our printers. Our eye contact is stronger than war. Our conversation can build giant truths. Our tongues can hold back death. I'm a constant traveler on a path with a promise of warm heartbeats and new houses. I haven't seen them yet, but I haven't been around the corner. Gray skies melt into the purest hue under the sun. Hard roads make swords eternal, exhaling fog from lungs that burn bonfires in celebration of God's eyes. I'm trying to fix a broken world, but poets only know solitude. So I'm often stuck behind an atmosphere of thick glass and identity taking notes, empty beds, tired grins, incubated love. <laughs>